The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, guys. Welcome to the session. And uh, let me proceed with the agenda of this uh, session. So in this session, we are going to see a very useful real-time scenario in the Salesforce projects, which specially people use where they have some limitations of time. And uh, this uh, will be also definitely useful for you, for your career, for your job. So what is that? Let me tell you by the way. So let me first of all tell you the background. So you are very much aware about workflow rule and the benefits of workflow rule. In that you also know one more useful feature in workflow rule which is nothing but time dependent action. So first one is the immediate action and the second one is a time dependent action. If we specifically talk about time dependent action then in that you know either we can run something in hours or we can run something in days. In case of minutes, there is no solution. For example, if suppose any record is created and within five days or let's say after five days, by the way, I want to send email. Fine. No issues. Possible. Okay. I want to do this in five hours. Yes. Possible. No problem. And all these things we already learned in our regular training, right? Or in our previous learning. But suppose if we want this in five minutes, then, then no solution. No solution. So here we are going to see one workaround by which <clears throat> you can actually even perform these activities in terms of minutes. Let's take a scenario where actually we have to, for example, make a field update in five minutes. So let's say we have to make a field update in five minutes. So that is actually our target. Okay, so how we can perform this now see here one good workaround which you can use in your projects. First of all, we need in this case uh, a formula field. We need for this uh, scenario a formula field. So let me now explain you uh, how we can actually uh, do this and uh, what is the process for that. Let me show you that. So first thing we need to create a formula field and uh, then we can take one by one next step. So first of all, it's going to be formula field. Once formula field is created, then after that, we will be using that formula field. Let's say give the name for the formula field. Let's say for example, five minute action like this for example a formula field which is actually the key performer in this scenario this is the most important key performer in this scenario for this workaround then we need a workflow rule of course in that we can take any action any action anything let's say we will take for example, maybe field update. And this way, we are going to actually manage the thing. Okay. But for entire process, the formula field is the key performer. So that we are going to see now how actually these uh, things are possible and how it is manageable. All these things we are going to see one by one. So for that purpose, the first thing that we actually need uh, is uh, 
the first thing is we need is formula field i'll do one thing so let me go to the salesforce environment and uh, let's assume that there is an object called as indeed.com and uh, let's say we are creating a record in that the scenario is or the requirement is let's say for example if country is india and experience is let's say more than 10 years 11 12 13 kind of thing at that time we want to actually trigger a workflow rule in that workflow rule field update but all these things should happen in five minutes okay this should happen in five minutes we want to update this field staffing status where we'll mention let's say for example candidate let's say selected okay so this is we want to do in five minutes normally we can do in five minutes no normally minimum one are required here but here for this scenario we want this field update to happen in just five minutes okay so let us see how we can achieve this first thing create a formula field so i will now show you the things and uh, that we will be doing here i will show you the complete uh, structure step by step so first of all create the formula field to here in this case to avoid any kind of time wastage i will show you the formula field that i created for uh, this purpose or let's say here i will show you the things to you directly that's also fine so let me create a field formula field let me create by the way and let's say i will write the rule field name let's say five minute workflow rule action okay we want to do this in five minutes so here you select the type date and time and next to work with the duration in a better way in the formula you do one thing you say tell me first of all current time current moment okay that is possible by now there is a date and time function called as now which will give you this now which will give you the discussion about current moment so click on this fine i will get the current moment and now here is the tricky part the tricky part is you have to subtract you have to subtract this current time with a particular number this is the most interesting part here if you want something to happen before in few minutes then you have to minus you have to subtract this now with some fractional amount in such a way that the remaining value will come in minutes listen very carefully this is the most tricky part here suppose i say that as soon as the work or let's say condition is satisfied for example here i'm having record number seven country is india experience is 20 and let's say i want my work to happen in just minutes so the logic is what we need to do in this case we need to actually take the current time and subtract a particular value a fractional value in such a way that ultimately the action will take in minutes 
that anyways i will be giving you the table i will be showing you showing you the table how you can perform this activity it's all about the calculations and now i want to do in this minutes i want to do this in minutes so what i will do here so i want this in minutes so i will go to that formula field and i will subtract this in 0 0.038 if you want in <clears throat> let's say 10 minutes then subtract 0 0.03455 you want in 15 minutes then subtract by 0 0.03109 i will give that table to you don't worry it's just a logical thing by which we are calculating the things slightly in fractions and automatically the remaining amount remaining numbers are coming in minutes that we will see now okay so now i'm going to click on check syntax and uh, you can see there is no error and uh, let's say treat blank value zero no problem and next <clears throat> visible for everyone you can make as of now visible for everyone but in the real time projects here i don't think so you should keep this visible for everyone only for you me people like you and me system admins for them it's okay for normal normal users it's not required but for time being let me do this no problem or maybe i can remove that and I can simply scroll down and select system admin. That's also fine. And next. And then I will click on just save and that's it. So this way I created my formula field. Now it's time to proceed for the step number two. Step number two is I'm going to create now a workflow rule. Step number two, I'm going to create a workflow rule on this object where now let me show you how we are actually planning the things so let me create a workflow rule for this and uh, just give one minute let me proceed for creation of workflow rule just wait a minute let me go to the salesforce environment And here we go. So I'm in the workflow rule. Now click on new rule. And uh, let's say we will be selecting the object name, which is our which is the indeed object. And next rule name. Let's say for example here the high experience workflow rule because we are going to see this scenario where experience is more than 10 years right we just discussed that so then let's say we are going to proceed for that activity and uh, then after that i will let's say i want to do this on the record creation and uh, here my condition is if country of the candidate is equal to india and the experience of the candidate is uh, more than equal to let's say 10 then i want to perform this action for high experience for that purpose of course i will be creating time dependent action because we want this in time dependent mode so click on add time trigger and now it's time for another tricky part another tricky part where what we will do we will mention that I want this action to be done one hour after what field one hour after what field now that is uh, something a tricky part here one hour after what field so the formula field that we created guys we will be actually using that one so right now we will be using that formula field that we just created okay because that value actually is coming in the fraction so that's going to make the big difference here so what we need to select here 
just understand we need to say one r after after what after this 5 minute workflow rule action now this is very interesting actually what's happening pay attention let's say this is the time parameter this is the time which is moving second by second okay and let's say this is the moment here this is the moment where the workflow rule triggered workflow rule triggered okay this is very interesting try to understand this so this is the time this is moving and workflow rule triggered at this moment immediately says we'll check the condition let's say condition satisfied workflow rule triggered immediately it will check the action one hour after this time so this time is calculated now minus fractions so actually this time which actually is going to be here actually this time is somewhere here in the past somewhere we are going in the past somewhere we are going in the past and we are saying look at this i'm creating the arrow here so try to understand this is interesting part so we are going somewhere in the past and then we are saying from this star star means this moment okay this is star okay so star from star one hour after so we are coming somewhere here this is exactly the 5 minutes after that particular moment isn't this an interesting situation wait this is actually all about logic and without doing any kind of coding or with some smartness how we can solve the problem this is a good example for that let me repeat again as this is the most interesting part here let's say this is the time which is moving and let's say at this moment let's say for example moment 1 at this moment let's say workflow rule workflow rule actually started workflow rule fired okay everything condition matched everything good and let's say workflow rule here fired okay fine now it will come to this time dependent action and it will say one hour after after what after this field but wait what is the meaning of 5 minute workflow rule action because it is now minus 0 point something 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 so what exactly is that time so that time itself is actually coming in the past somewhere here this is moment 2 somewhere in the past which is nothing but this okay so now what to do so take the action one hour after moment 2 so the calculation will become in such a way that this action take the the moment on which or the one hour after this m2 will be something here which is moment 3 which is exactly 5 minutes after the workflow rule the condition is satisfied so ultimately we are making the things in such a way that ultimately from the moment 1 in 5 minutes action being taken customer got his solution that's it. so this is the trickiest part here and now let me click on save all right now so it's time to take an action so what action we can take let's say we will take a field update so what you want to do in this time dependent workflow let's say field update let's say field update in 5 minutes something like that which field you want to update let's say we want to update the field called as uh, let's say staffing status and what you mention what you want to mention in that so let's say for example candidate uh, selected something like that we want to do this in 5 minutes okay so click on save and guys that's it it's time to click on done and uh, it's time to then uh, activate the workflow rule and uh, that's it so now it's time to take an action okay so now let me do one thing i saved the workflow rule workflow rule is ready 
so it's time to take the action now i will do one thing now i will be going for one record creation so let me create a record and uh, i will create such a record which will satisfy the condition country equal to india and experience equal to 25 for example and click on save condition matched and now i am expecting overflow rule to happen after 5 minutes but is it really going to happen before waiting for 5 minutes let's see i am going to proceed for the setup where i can check whether this will really work in 5 minutes or not and let me tell you look at the time by the way what is the time record got created what is the time record got created it is where is that by the way record created so you can see look at the created date 8:33 8:33 pm okay plus 5 minutes means 8:38 pm the action should take place right let us see go to the setup now go to setup in the left hand side search the time based workflow left hand side search time based workflow and see whether really something is going to happen after 5 minutes or not so let us click on time based workflow quick and click on search and just look at this yes yes the action is scheduled after 5 minutes and guys that's it so we have successfully managed to achieve a scenario where after 5 minutes the particular action will be taken place created at 8:33 and scheduled time 8:38 after 5 minutes it will work for sure so please note for this entire process for this entire activity let me tell you few interesting things which can be also helpful for you first of all please note that uh, if suppose in this process if you are expecting that it will always work exactly after 5 minutes then be clear that in some cases some cases it may take one or two minutes extra not all the cases some cases so be clear with this and inform your client about this in advance if he is expecting something to happen immediately tell sir it will take some time sometimes not all the times okay point number 1 and uh, second thing that uh, if suppose you want to perform this kind of activities with other time slots then there is a calculation by the way which actually you can uh, use here there is a chart which actually you can use here and look at this chart which you can use so for example right now what was our target we wanted to perform this in 5 minutes so what we did we actually subtracted now minus 0.03800 so ultimately it will go in the past it will go in the past and the output will be in 5 minutes action will be taken for example you want to do something in 35 minutes so now minus 0.01727 it means you are going past 25 minutes this way outcome will come in 35 minutes so like this also you can actually perform the activity okay so all these things you can do and it's all about the calculations of minutes to go in the past the trick is the trick is here to subtract from now such a number which will take us in the past from that one hour next will be our expected time of action simple that's actually the trick in this entire process and now guys let me go to the workflow rule and uh, check here by refreshing because uh, here now it's like a uh, 837 so now 
we will wait for a few seconds and you can see now it is a uh, 8 38 you can see it is a uh, 8 38 and uh, now let me click on search again until and unless this will vanish this entry will vanish until and unless this entry will vanish action will not be taken place if you see if i go to record number 21 see here if i refresh this page if i refresh this page record number 21 if i refresh this page you can see still action is not taken place okay it's 8 30 it's 8 38 pm but then also action is not taken place right so please wait slide here and there in terms of time will happen come here and again refresh means search so the entry is there still it is yet to trigger okay five minutes gone no problem slightly few extra seconds will be taken as i told you in advance and the same thing you need to tell in advance to your client also in your project and uh, wait for few more seconds please note it is 8 39 now and schedule date schedule time is 8 38 one minute gone okay but please note that's a slight slight drawback of this which is okay which is totally fine you are getting the benefit of this so in this case here few seconds it, it's taking extra totally fine it's 8 39 by the way one minute gone then also action is not taken place that actually is a drawback of this process which is totally fair because there are some other scenarios also in salesforce where it will not work exactly on the scheduled time it's still there it's now 8 40 again let me try after a few seconds of wait let me search again so you can see the entry is still there okay entry is still there it's 841 schedule date and time is 838 so please note even though it's a workaround we need to understand that uh, salesforce will take few extra minutes than expected even though this is the workaround so let's wait for a few more seconds one or two minutes is the maximum delay by the way we have seen in the projects of Intellogic
And you can also see here that uh, the scheduled date is 388. Um, so scheduled date and time is like 38. But if it is still not taking the action, so this is not something in our control also. So it's like the internal mechanism which is taking the time. So we cannot do anything for this. We have to just wait for some more time. and it's done now so you can see if you search now actions are not present everything is gone means all the actions are completed and uh, if you just go to the record let me just show you if you go to the record and look at this record number 21 candidate selected action taken place right so few minutes of delay it can happen sometimes just few seconds it depends on Salesforce server, but you could manage the workflow actions in minutes, provided that it can take some extra minutes depending on the situation. So, a very useful trick used for your project. Good luck. Let's meet in future in other sessions.